Hi, I'm Drew Moyer, and this is how to use bar graphs to show nominal data. Nominal data is data that doesn't have a numerical value. Rather, it is organized only by name. However, in order to put this information into a bar graph, I'm going to have to assign it a numerical value. So let's suppose that I'm a coach of a basketball team, and I want to take inventory of how many players I have in each position. Well, since basketball positions are usually categorized by size, I can assign each position a number based on its size. I know I have a point guard, a shooting guard, a small forward, a power forward, and a center. Point guards are usually the smallest, so I will give that a number of one. Shooting guards are next, so I'll give them a two. Small forwards after that, I'll give them a three. Then power forwards, a four. And finally, my tallest and biggest players are usually centers, so I'll give them a five. And now that they have numerical values, I can represent them on the x-axis here. One is now standing for point guard. Two now stands for shooting guard. 3 stands for small forward, 4 stands for power forward, and 5 stands for center. So now all that's left to do is to graph the data. Let's say I have two point guards. All I would do is go over here to 1 or point guard and take my bar up to 2 for the number of players. Same thing for shooting guards. Let's say I have three of those. So I just come straight up to 3, draw my bar, and color it in. For small forwards, let's say I only have one. So I just go up to one, just like that, and color it in. Power forwards, for some reason I have a lot of those, I have four. So I take that up to four, color it in. And last but not least, I have centers, and let's say I have two of those. So I go across to two, make my bar, and now I have my bar graph. So, I'm Drew Moyer, and this is how to use bar graphs to show nominal data.